all right so this video is about external fault okay many times you know you may encounter faults in your drive faults can be suppose you have some situation in which you don't want drive to run you want drive to halt you want drive to stop this can be you know if your panel is having a very high temperature you want devices to be off or in a case when you have a sensor if it detects any object in that case you want your motor to stop you have any sensors installed some extreme limit of sensor in which if anything comes motor you want motor to halt and you want to display that on your drive the fault what is that fault okay whether it is i mean you can display a message on drive okay so how we can do that that can be done if you if you select here one of your terminal let's say m3 as external fault normally open no you can do it in c as well what is the difference in no suppose if i give param parameter 40 as 03 okay so what will happen if m3 gets on if m3 gets supplied by the ground if M3 gets the ground, which this this fault comes when you install limit switches. So install a limit switch between M3 and ground. If that limit switch is pressed, your drive will show a fault and drive will halt. Okay, so let's see how we can do that. So initially we have to give M3, we have to assign this M3 as a function 03, which I have just made the changes. So let me show you in parameter number 40, which is for M3, 03 has been entered. Okay, so when the fault comes, there should be a way to reset that fault. So I should use M4 to reset the fault. So I'll put 05 in M4 because I need to reset that fault. Otherwise, this fault will never go. So parameter 41, this is 05. So now my M3 is the fault and M5 is the reset. Not M5, it's M4. All right. So let's say when I run the motor, motor is running. Okay. Now if M3 gets on by any chance, let's see. I'm not doing that. This is just a demonstration. I'm doing that with PLC, but this is not to be done. This can be done by hardware limit switch. But if you have a condition in PLC to, 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 to detect a fault, if you turn on Y3, see what will happen. It will show EF and it's blinking. It showed external fault. And this fault will be blinking. Blinking means the fault still exists. If I turn it off, it will just show EF. It will not blink. It means fault has been removed, but fault has occurred. To reset this one, now if I run off, I turn off the VFD, I turn it on, nothing will happen. This is halt. I cannot do anything about it. So I have to reset this one. For that, I'll turn on M33. First, I turn it off. This has been reset. Okay, I turn it off again. Then I can run the motor. If and again, if again there is a fault, it will go to EF. Set off. Then I can remove the fault like that and go back to start the drive. So that's how you can display a fault and you can reset the fault. It's all about you know assigning the functions to your multifunction terminal. So you can see that during the course of the video how important is this to assign the function and to you know work on that. So this is about assigning the fault and resetting the fault, external faults. Okay.